an emotional story of one daughter's journey to find her father. Kara Sunlin details her story in the new book, Finding Dad, From Love Child to Daughter. Sunlin's father is the late former governor of Rhode Island, Bruce Sunlin. The two made their first public appearance together for the media back in 1993. Look at this. The first official father-daughter appearance for Governor Sunlin and Kara. He seemed fraternal, protective. This way. Meeting the media, there was already an easiness, a humor. I, mean, I, I imagine uh, that they'll, I'll get uh, more than the usual number of Father's Day cards. This year. <laughs> and joining us now is the author of Finding Dad from Love Child to Daughter, Kara Sunlin, whose book, by the way, is available right now on Amazon. Kara, it's great to speak with you. You and I have corresponded back and forth for the last couple of years. We're in the same industry. You are a TV news anchor and host in the state of Connecticut. This book is so amazing and compelling, your life story. I want to start oh. with the day that you see him on the television screen and you're a teenager and you tell your mom, I'm going to find out and figure out if he wants me to be his daughter. What happened? Yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night as a news anchor was reading election returns, and I call it a meant-to-be moment because I just happened to wake up in the middle of the night as they announced that Bruce Sundlin was running for governor, and I woke my mom up and was like, Mom, is that him? I'd only ever known his name. It was my first time ever even seeing a picture of my dad. And the journey ahead, if I had known how difficult it was going to be, obviously he was a sitting governor, there were complications for him, but I'm so happy I took that leap of faith because ultimately... His acceptance of me and the journey we took to forgiveness healed not only me, but I think it made him a better person. And it really actually had a rippling effect of healing our entire family. Uh, and even now, as I'm a mother to my own two children, I think the entrance of a father into my life, when we struggle with the issue of fatherlessness, was really transformative. Mm -hmm. So you had 20 years with him. He unfortunately passed away about uh, three years ago. You say that you yearned for a figure of stability. There are millions of children out there living in fatherless homes. Explain what that meant to you to get that back. Yeah, it was a settling effect. It was just almost a feeling in my core, and it happened in moments as he started to show up in my life. And you have to remember, I didn't actually even move into his house until I was about to turn 18. Some would have said he missed the boat, and I didn't see it that way. As he showed, it up, as he showed up for my first job, later on to walk me down the aisle, and ultimately to be there for the birth of my children, I started to get stronger. I think my self-worth increased. And we know, I know from writing the book and doing research, that the father care is as important as mother care. It's different, but it actually does affect how we feel and how stable we feel. So for me, it was a huge stabilizing effect, just having his presence and his acceptance. But he didn't want to acknowledge you in the beginning. How did you get past Kara? How did you get past the forgiveness part of this? When he made that decision after first not wanting to acknowledge me, but ultimately said, listen, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to help pay for your college education, but I want you to come live with me, and I want to get to know you. Anything else, I'll treat you like the rest of my kids. I had to make that choice right then to decide I wasn't going to spend the next 18 years beating him up for the first 18 years. And because I chose to let it go, it doesn't mean condoning it, because I do truly believe he should have been there, and I think all fathers need to take responsibility. But as we heal family relationships or anything in our life, that choice to let go, that choice to forgive, was a gift I gave myself. And it's why I think we were able to have that happy ending and create something new. It's an amazing story, an amazing book. Uh, I encourage people to check it out, Finding Dad. Kara Sunlin, all the best to you, your family, and your two beautiful children. Thanks so much. You too, Gretchen. Thank you so much.